As of recently, Black Ops 3 had some updates to the black markets and the content there within. As such, we ended up getting a limited edition camo, that being the Empire camo, the Olympia, and everyone's fan favorite from Black Ops 2, the MSMC returning as the XMC within Black Ops 3. Now, this is something that I absolutely wanted all of these. I ended up getting the Empire camo, which is cool, yes, but of course, I couldn't end up getting my hands on the XMC or the Olympia, but I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this because this is one of the first times in a while that we've seen a weapon have a little bit more of a competitive edge against some of the base weapons within Black Ops 3. We did a video a couple of weeks back detailing just how OP are weapons, and really, from statistical analysis, it ends up not necessarily being so much that the DLC weapons are overpowered, but more so just the middle of the pack. Whenever you end up seeing those, yes, people love to use them because they're new and everything, but you can still outclass them with a lot of the base weapons. However, that said, the XMC, once again, is introduced in a way that not many have been done before, in which it completely stacks up against and almost erases any need to use one of the weapons that are in the base version of Black Ops 3. So that said, in this one, I want to detail a little bit about the direct comparison of the XMC to the CUDA. Does it make it useless? Does it make it obsolete? Whatever you want to word it as, is this something that's for the first time in a long time, we see a weapon completely phase out the need for a base weapon, whereas it actually does have a little bit more of a grandstand in the overall rankings of weapons, that being DLC versus base weapons. So jumping right into it, some of the big things that you want to take a look at at an SMG and their attributes ends up dealing with the fire rate, the three hit kill range, and the handling, because SMGs, once again, are built for close quarter situations, getting those kills off. The three hit kill range, if it is extended, is a lot better because then that gives you, once again, more range to work with instead of having to be right on top of somebody. And the handling, of course, mobility is something you wanna weave in and out of situations so you can duck into cover and duck out into gunfights, all that good stuff. Now, taking a look at those and directly comparing the two, the XMC actually has a higher fire rate than that of the CUDA. So one of three of the XMC already outclasses and completely renders useless with the CUDA. The three hit kill range is actually better on the XMC as well, which gives players a better advantage at distance. And whenever you take a look at the four to five shot range, which is where you should never really end up challenging everything, but still you can end up doing it. It's more so like suited towards the ARs at that point, but the four to five shot range is almost identical from the XMC to the CUDA. So that said, the XMC, still has a little bit more of an advantage in the range category and the handling on the XMC is actually better than that of the CUDA. And when you try to think about drawbacks, because a lot of DLC weapons end up having comparable drawbacks to the weapons that they're very close to in classification. One thing that really comes to my mind is the HLX, a weapon that I actually really enjoy using, but there are some things that I absolutely hate about it, such that being as the rechamber, where it ends up having that split second in between refiring and everything like that. There's slower strafe mobility and some of the attributes rival that of assault rifles rather than SMGs. So that said, those sorts of things are put into place as not necessarily a contingency, but something to kind of counterbalance if that's of what might become a little bit too overpowered. However, the XMC versus the CUDA has no drawbacks, actually. The only things that are really out there are the known comparable issues with the lack of ammo, but that can be completely countered by using scavenger or extended mags, or in some cases, not necessarily needing to deal with it overall. There's also no rechamber issues like we see with the HLX. There's no reload differences. There's no strafing speed differences, no mobility penalty in terms of using one SMG to the other, nothing like that. So effectively, where the big category comes down to in terms of damage, range, the XMC ends up winning versus the CUDA. So once again, one that is a staple weapon within Black Ops 3 has now kind of been pushed to the obsolete side, something where if you have the XMC, I honestly don't think that anybody would really go back and use the CUDA because the XMC is essentially the CUDA, but even better than that of the base weapon. So once again, for the first time in a long time, or maybe even the first time entirely, this is something where a DLC weapon literally makes one of the base weapons obsolete. So that said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. I wanna let you guys know about this and you can do with the information what you will. Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of this? Do you think it's wrong that DLC weapons now effectively have a little bit of a advantage over top of these base weapons? And I guess kind of solidify that pay to win mentality 
or do not necessarily care all that much do you think that you know what it's the CUDA nobody really uses the CUDA as is it's a base level one weapon in which if you don't outclass it well then your DLC weapon just kind of sucks whatever it may be let me know down there in the comment section down below but hopefully you guys did enjoy and if you guys did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Black Ops 3 Call of Duty World War 2 we're gonna be killing it over the next week so stick it right here if that stuff does interest you if you guys are also interested in Modern Warfare Mastered and Infinite Warfare this is a place for you as well and finally if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter that is the best place to get character maps out of YouTube practically live on Twitter so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be link is down there in the description below but all that said and out of the way hope you guys have a fantastic day thanks so much for watching Modern Warfare Espresso I'll see you guys later take care and peace